Three family homes on the Norfolk coast have been demolished because of the risk they collapse into the sea. High spring tides have battered Hemsby, just north of Great Yarmouth, forcing residents to leave the wooden properties. Here's John Einmunker. It's high tide in Hemsby and the coastline is shrinking once again. In the sea, remnants of a playhouse from the back garden of a property, which is among several on the Marams to be evacuated in the past 24 hours, though not entirely. It looks like two chickens had been forgotten about and not removed, so the guys from the lifeboat station have just come and plucked them out of their little cage, uh, just in the nick of time by the looks of it. Just straight through to the sea. Sure enough, seconds later, a shed beside the chicken coop vanishes into the way. They may have survived the night, but at the last minute, three of the most perilous houses were earmarked for demolition. And Sue, who bought hers as a renovation project three years ago, was given a few hours this morning to gather her belongings before the digger moved in. The odd curtain rail, the bell off the front. How does it feel then knowing it's going today? Devastating. It's all your dreams gone, <laughs> all your dreams shattered. Yesterday, the council was granted emergency powers to build a rock barrier in order to shore up an access road that has been undermined and other homes now at risk. You're at the point of losing properties when anybody actually is spurred into action. Uh, and that's certainly not the case. And it's absolutely not the case. Obviously, we have to follow legislation. Um, and, and that's what we have to do. As a borough council, as a local government organisation, that's what we have to do. It's too little too late for some in this worn-down community. John Ironmonger, BBC News.